my name is Katie and thanks for coming and hanging out with me on my YouTube channel. Today is a snowy day. We've been expecting this storm for a little while. We've seen it, you know, kind of creeping around on the weather channel and it's snowing today. So I decided, I wanted to, to kind of just take it easy today and chill a little bit and have a little bit of a slow day. Thought I'd take you along for this kind of intentional and slow living day. Sometimes I have a really hard time just relaxing and I guess surrendering to the moment. I'm working on it, but having this mindset of intentionally trying to slow down, trying to embrace it, has helped me out a lot. It's made a big difference in me being able to just say, okay, this is something I want to do. It may not be on plan, but it is something I want to do, something that's important to me, so I'm going to let go. I also don't feel like every day has to be a slow living day. Sometimes we're just busy and being busy is good, but when we want to slow down, when we know that we need to slow down, when our body is telling us to slow down, I think those are the moments when it's important to just embrace, accept, and enjoy. Because we were playing outside and <laughs> went on a little walk, my kids were having a little snowball fight and stuff like that. Even though there's just a tiny bit of snow, they managed to scrape enough together. Uh, I didn't get to go on my walk earlier, so I'm gonna go on my walk right now. ate my lunch. There is something so good about rice and vegetables with a little salt and pepper. It's so simple, but it's delicious and very healthy and filling. I keep rice cooked in my Instant Pot all the time. I keep it in my refrigerator and when I want some, I pull it out and I do have to reheat it. So that's, you know, kind of a bummer, but it's okay. I just stick it in with my vegetables or stir fry, whatever I'm making and it, it works out well. That'd be a little tip for you. Just keep some healthy foods in the fridge. I'm glad I did today because I want to have a very low key day today. I haven't had a dessert in a long time, probably like, well, for me, it's a long time. I like to have dessert every day. <laughs> uh, anyway, I haven't had one in probably, I think, a week and a half. So for me, that is a long time. I wanted to cut out excess calories or unnecessary calories, and so I decided to not have so many treats, even though they're super healthy. They're like made of oats, maybe dates or maple syrup or things like that, but it's still extra calories and I'm trying to lose weight. So I do think that cutting those out for the most part or making them much more farther apart and really enjoying them when I want to has, has been very helpful for my weight loss. So that is what I have started to do and I think something I will continue to do. With this kind of simple living day though, I wanted to have a treat. I've been wanting one for a couple of days and I decided today was the perfect day to do it. I love these fruit crisps. They're so good and just filling healthy. I don't feel gross or over full when I'm done eating them. They're really, really good. So I wanted to make one of these for me. Also, since it's snowy, I wanted something warm and comfort food type of a dessert. That's why I decided to make this fruit crisp. I believe I've made it on the channel before, so I will find that and link it in the description box below. So check that out if you want the full recipe. I'm not going to uh, leave the recipes for any of these because they're all such simple meals or I already have it created for you. So check that out. This fruit crisp though, it is delicious. It is filling. I didn't pull out the recipe. I was so just, I just didn't feel it today. I just didn't want to. I'm kind of in that I'm not gonna do it if I don't feel like it day today. So before I even begin this recipe, I line my little square, eight by eight square dish with some parchment paper. This does stick and so you have to have something. In the future, I would like to get a silicone pan, but I don't have one right now. So this is what I'm doing at this point. I dump about four cups of berries into the pan and then just set that aside while I get my other ingredients assembled. 
I put some oats in the bowl, cinnamon, and also some pumpkin pie spice, as well as salt, just to make sure that you kind of get those flavors enhanced. I stir that up and then set that aside. To create the wet mixture, I just add together some maple syrup, cashew milk. I have the recipe for that linked in the description box below, as well as some vanilla extract and peanut butter powder. Now I love peanut butter powder and peanuts and peanut butter. <laughs> I love all things peanuts. Uh, if you can't use it, I'm thinking that you could probably use some sun butter if you are allergic to nuts, or you could probably just leave it out and maybe just don't include the milk. That would possibly work. I have never tried it before, but try you can test that out and let me know in the comments below if that works for you. Once you have the wet mixture all combined, you just need to stir that in with your oat mixture and then spread that over the top of your berries. I bake mine at about 375 for 25 minutes or until the crumble topping looks nice and crisp and the berries are bubbly and juicy. Your cooking time will probably vary. I live in an RV full time with my husband and children and RV ovens are like notorious for being not accurate. <laughs> so I don't even know what the temperature is. I can kind of guess by the way it feels. I bake so much and I've baked so much forever, but it's, you know, it's rough. I should buy a thermometer, but I'm just not interested in doing that. <laughs> I have the house to myself. The kids went out to play in the snow, so I'm going to put on my headphones, listen to some music, and do my Spanish workbook as well as drawing project for the day. Those are two of the goals that I had for 2021, and I want to get that done today. This is probably the number one reason why I'm glad I decided to have a slow and intentional living day today. <laughs> I needed this in my life. Oh man, that is so good. While I'm waiting for the crisp to cool off, I am going to take a rest. I learned a long time ago that sometimes when my body wants to rest and is just feeling sluggish and all that, it's best to just to go take a rest. I didn't used to give myself that luxury. I tried to power on, but the more I learn about myself and how to treat myself well, the more I realize that if I'm tired, it's best to take a little, maybe, 20 minute power nap. I feel so much better when I'm done and I am a better mother and wife. <laughs> I'm not grumpy, I'm not tired, and I've given my body what it needs, so I feel better. I think that Tasha has slow, intentional living down. And so does he. Who doesn't want to snuggle up in their favorite lint-covered blanket every day? <laughs> Uh, 
she's such a sweetheart. One of my favorite things about minimalist living is that it has taught me to look at not only the possessions that I want in my life, but the activities and relationships that I want in my life. It has helped me to examine my feelings and decide when I feel that something stresses me out and whether I can change myself so that I'm not stressed out by that thing or even just change the general atmosphere or whatever so that I don't feel stressed out by that stuff. It has also taught me to slow down. I think that it is okay and allows me to enjoy more when I take a moment to relax and slow down. Days like today, I didn't really get a ton done, but it felt really nice just to be and let things happen to allow myself to get to the things that I needed to when I was ready to get to them. I cleaned up the whole house, which I live in an RV, so that's not that hard, but I did not want to do it. And I kind of gently worked my th way through everything. I did things the way that I wanted to. Now my house is nice and peaceful and clean and everyone is supposed to be back in the house for dinner pretty soon. I have my creamy potato soup that I made the other night. I will try to remember to link that recipe below. I'm going to warm that up. I had some left over. That's what my husband and I are going to eat for dinner. And my kids, I don't know, I think burritos. Also there will be tea. That is what's going on with us this evening. I have no idea how much of an opportunity I'll have to film in the next little while because once everyone comes in the door they're just going to be hungry and whatever I'll have to feed them. <laughs> anyway, I don't know how much time I will have to film but I wanted to make sure that I closed out this video because I really kind of did this video on the fly and very much enjoyed it. As always, thank you so much for watching. You know, you guys are amazing at giving my videos thumbs up. Like, thank you so much. It really helps to grow the channel and I want that so badly. I would very much appreciate you subscribing and liking and mwah, thank you very much for doing that. Hope you have an excellent day. Remember, it's all about the experiences, not the stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.